Hello and congratulations on getting access to this video course on Facebook page likes. Now, I want to make sure that you understand that this is not just about generating likes, which can in turn help you create more social proof, which leads to authority and all, all that good stuff. This goes beyond that. This also helps you with engagement levels, which Facebook, when they look at your Facebook fan page, Obviously, they care a lot about how people interact with your page and how good of an experience that they have. But I'm going to talk more about that. We're going to talk about how to utilize all of what we're going to teach you to create a winning strategy. You see, a lot of people tend to make the mistake of running ads in a tier one country immediately. So we're going to talk about that in just a minute. But a tier one country is basically like the United States, United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, and a lot of the big countries that have big economic growth. So this is video number one, and let's first talk about mindset, quality versus quantity. Now, I know this might seem like a no brainer, but this is actually something that is commonly overlooked when it comes to this topic. A lot of people have this misconception that they can buy Facebook fan page likes and get a bunch of fans. Now, that might have been the case back in the day, but if you do that, unfortunately with Facebook, you can get your Facebook fan page banned or totally removed, and you don't want that. You wanna make sure that you get quality likes. In other words, it's better to have highly targeted quality likes, a thousand of them, versus 50,000 fan page likes. So that's what we're going at here and we'll, we'll dive into it in a lot more detail in just a minute. But I want you to realize that whenever you drive quality traffic and quality likes, it's gonna cost you a little bit of money, all right? So that's just a, a quick reality check. It's not gonna cost you several hundreds or thousands of dollars, it's just gonna cost you about 50 to $100. So you need to keep that in mind whenever dealing with Facebook ads is going to cost money. Now, the downside with targeting tier one countries in terms of Facebook likes is it can cost a lot of money. It can cost anywhere from 10 cents to 50 cents a like to even several dollars. So how are we going to get around this? The strategy here is that we're going to be using and targeting tier two and tier three countries to achieve these goals. Now, what do I mean by that? Tier three are third world countries like Bangladesh and uh, all, a lot of other ones. We'll list them out just so you can see them. Tier two countries are countries that are having economic growth, but it's just not a tiered one. So tier twos are great. But tier three, the best thing about it is that a lot of these countries, when they log on to Facebook and they see an image that they like, even if they don't totally like it, they're going to like it. They're going to engage with you. So the tier three will actually help you in terms of increasing your engagement level, which is very important to Facebook because they want to know is your Facebook fan page generating a good user experience? Now, bear in mind that back in the day, if you bought 10,000 Facebook fan page likes or people who like the page, most of those people just sat, right? They didn't do anything. So that is why this is more beneficial than that. Now, you might be asking, well, isn't this going to dilute the quality because we talked about quality versus quantity? Well, here's the reality check. It doesn't matter where you are located. A person with similar commonalities, whether they're in Bangladesh or United States or UK or wherever, they think like each other. Think about people who go through similar pains. Maybe they go through similar sickness, like autoimmune diseases. They all have the same, very, very same, maybe not exactly the same, but very, very similar pains, roadblocks, desires that they want to get better and all that, right? So similar when it comes to maybe sports or hobbies. Somebody who likes a specific sport may deal with the specific and similar pains and all that. So even though you're testing it out in a tier three country, 
that's the that's the mindset that you need to have that the images that you test the content that you test and all that you test is if it works really well in that country the likelihood of it working well in the united states or a tier one country is going to be high now we're going to talk more about that in those videos but for now let me go over and give you a quick overview of what's inside this course so video number two we're going to talk about why you want to have targeted likes we talked briefly about this but i'm going to expand on that and open your eyes to how that really will take things to the next level video number three we'll talk about how to use likes to win in many of those areas so we elaborate a little bit on video two we go into more depth in video number three video number four we're going to talk about how to create five minute content so in order to create more engagement you're going to need to have content right so i'm going to show you a simple trick to create content that actually resonates with your audience but is super simple to create video number five we'll talk about how to kill two birds with one stone and video number six, we'll talk about uh, the likes ad campaign, which brings us to the like ad set in the likes ad. So video six, seven, and eight, those are just the steps that you need to take to actually run an ad campaign. Now here's what you're going to need. You're gonna to need to have a minimum of 50 to $100. Bear in mind, you will most likely you'll start out with three to five cents alike, but as time goes on and you improve your campaign, you can generally speaking, get it down to one, two or three cents. So with that in mind, you can get the calculator and multiply that and see and get an idea of how many actual likes that you'll get. Now you will need to have some money to purchase tools to create content fast. Otherwise, if you don't really have that money, you can also do it for free and I'll show you how to do that and give you pointers on that. You also need to have a fan page and a good idea of who your ideal customer is, their problems, their desires, their wants, their demographics. What do they do? What do they not like doing? What do they look like? Those are very, very crucial when it comes to this because this will allow you to target people at least get an idea for now and as you get the data you will begin to uh, paint a better picture of what they actually look like all right so let's move on to video number two hello and welcome back this is video number two and my purpose of this video is to walk you around show you a real live fan page and show you the process of why you need to have targeted facebook fan page likes now, while that may seem like a no brainer, I want to share with you the whole process, how it works from the beginning to the end so that you understand how to set up your Facebook fan pages because your Facebook fan page may not be set up correctly to actually implement this strategy. All right. So when it comes down to it, you want to make sure number one, that you choose an image of a person that fits the demographics of your fan page. Now, obviously, if that is you, that's fine, that's great. But if your demographics are primarily women, you might wanna choose a woman of that age. If it's men, choose men and so forth. So as you can see here, this image here, I'm using a royalty-free image of a woman because that fits this demographic. Now, I want to show you something really cool because I haven't really touched this particular fan page in months, but yet it still runs itself simply because I'm utilizing the strategy of honing in on very, very specific targeted audiences. So as you can see here, I have just reached 20,000 page likes. And if it averages out to about a penny, a like, then that's about $200. But realistically, when we ran the campaign, it was about three cents to about five cents. Now, like I said, we haven't really touched this for months in almost half a year, but it still runs itself. Now, as you can see, the content that I'm using, they're basically images with quotes 
on them. And we chose the quotes that relate to the audience so that it resonates with them. So as you can see, 120 people were reached, three engagements, and this was actually released just a couple hours ago. And here's another one. So as you can see here, this was released actually a couple days ago. Another quote on an image. You can see 182 people were reached, two engagements, and two people liked this particular content piece. So what I'm showing you is, and I want, want you to understand, is that once you run these like campaigns, even if you stop them, because the traffic is so targeted, the engagement continues on. So it's kind of like a snowball effect. It just keeps rolling and rolling and rolling. And the $200 that you invest for the 20,000 or the 10,000 likes, that will continue on and on for months to come. So I want you to understand and be able to see that in the future so that you understand that you know this is not just a one-off thing and it's just going to tank kind of thing. Now, in terms of how to create these images with the quotes, I will actually show you a tool that we use that uh, you'll be able to get the quotes and you'll be able to get the images. And it's just a matter of clicking a few buttons and you'll be able to create these tiny pieces of content really, really fast. What we found through testing is that most people, they once they visually see something and they see a quote that resonates with them and the quote relating to the image, it actually creates uh, an impact. It makes them intrigued, it, it gets them to engage. So we'll talk about that in future videos, but for now, I really just wanted to show you that what we do here is we run a ad campaign and we target people specifically towards this image. Now, when we create the campaign, which I'll show you in just a minute, we don't target just one generic thing. So we actually target, typically we do research and we do research and find out, is there a business, is there a software app, is there a website that relates to this here? And then we target that audience with something uh, motivational like this. And what ends up happening is uh, Facebook notices, aha, there, there's an engagement and there's even engagement even after the ads are finished running. So that means uh, that this fan page must be good. It must be having a good experience to get people to come and back. Here's another example. So I went to the notifications and as you can see here, it is actually November 30th as I'm recording this, but you can see that it's November 12th, 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 12th. So this obviously attracted somebody who might've been the person who clicked on the ad, or it might've been the friend of the friend. See, so a lot of times people share motivational quotes or something that resonates with them, and then the snowball effect just continues. So even if you get 10,000 likes, that 10,000 likes could multiply to 15 or even 20,000 likes over time. Now, obviously there is gonna be a drop off if you haven't touched it for months or even uh, years. Uh, but the point here is that if you do have the ad campaigns running, uh, you should just continue that snowball effect. Now, on top of this, I wanna mention that when it comes to running ads, a lot of times if you find that a image resonates with that of that country, that specific niche in that country. So even if it resonates really well with people in Bangladesh and then you find that it resonates with another third tier country, that's a good sign because now you're able to test what images actually work and what images don't work and which images are actually converting into page likes. So that's something that we figured out. So instead of trying to test things in the United States of America or United Kingdom or Canada up front, because what will end up happening is you'll spend thousands of dollars trying to test things out, trying to figure things out, versus you're testing pennies of a dollar with these penny likes and you're testing images to see which one works and then you take that information and then you set it up and you target it towards a tier one country, that is when you are able to kind of set things up for success, which we'll talk about more in the next video. But I wanted to show you this 
for now so that you can kind of get some motivation that this is going to work for you. If you follow the steps and if you create the targeted campaigns with the targeted content pieces. Now you might be asking, well, this is all great, but how do I make money as a business, you know, with the system? Well, what I'm showing you now is mainly the engagement side of things. So when Facebook allows you to run ads, for example, a lot of times they will disapprove your ads. But what we've seen over time is that a few things, if you spend more money in terms of ads and your site gets a lot of engagement and it has a lot of likes, like 20,000 20, likes, it tends to not disapprove your ads as much. So that's just something that we found over testing. So instead of spending thousands of dollars figuring that out for yourself, you can learn that from us. So think of this kind of like the engagement machine and the social proof and authority building machine. And on the other side, on the back end, you can run ads that have nothing related to this. So that way you can get a better relevant score. Basically what that means is that you're driving ads, you're driving traffic, people are coming to your Facebook fan page or your ad and they're engaging with it. And we'll talk more about how what we're talking about here, this strategy creates a winning strategy for you in the next video.